Oh, oh. Blessings and blessings. Preston smiles here. Stop in the name of love if you didn't catch that uh, reference over there. Uh, today's transmission is about surviving R. Kelly. Um, but it's really about all of us. And the... Let's call it the upside to what appears to be a 20 year tragedy that nobody really wanted to look at or take responsibility for. Now I wanna start by saying I'm so grateful for the internet because without the internet, um, some of the checks and balances that have been happening over the last, let's say even, six years, let's say even three years, wouldn't happen. The Me Too movement by itself has uh, created a space where men and women who have been victimized have a channel and a space for them to not feel alone. And what I've come to recognize is that all of us have some version of that. You know, the work that Alexi and myself do is uh, deep steeped in trauma. And the thing is that a lot of us think we don't have trauma, but the reality is that most of us do. And trauma is uh, really defined as any situation in your life where you felt helpless when something was happening. Now there's levels to it. And uh, this is why I wanna have this conversation about R. Kelly because some people are blaming what we would call the victims. They're saying things like, why wouldn't they just leave? And I wanna remind us all that that's the same thing we've, the same conversation we've had with the slaves and black people. Well, why wouldn't the slaves, why wouldn't the Jews, why wouldn't the Jews just overpower Hitler and the Germans? Why wouldn't black people all over the world just kill their captors and set themselves free? Well, what we don't understand, and this is the thing that makes me really upset and also is why I'm educating some of you, is psychological abuse. If you, if you put somebody's mind in chains, what you do to their body and what they're willing to do to their body and where they're willing to go and not go will be deeply affected. I.e., and if you know, if you take notice in the R. Kelly, Surviving R. Kelly documentary, a lot of times, all these women had the same story. He interviewed them. He tried little things. He started taking away certain things. He started having them call him daddy. He slapped almost every single one of them. He made innuendos. This is psychological abuse. This is a subtle way to see how far you can go knowing that you're gonna go really far. We all are responsible for what happened to those women. And one of the national conversations is, is if it happened to be um, Becky instead of Shaniqua that was 14 being peed on um, by a 33 year old man, that we would have a whole different conversation. But because it was black girls, nobody cared. It's, it's kind of tragic and I don't not agree with that and here we are caring all of us so um, what I want to mention and remind us all is that in these times it's very easy to just be in the conversation of he's an asshole he's a terrible person he as if it's this one person no this is a system this is years and years of all of us turning our backs on certain things. All of us uh, knowing that, let's say, plastic and 
certain things are killing the ocean and still doing it. If you're still playing his music, if you still make it okay for somebody to hurt other people because it's not directly affecting you, that's the, that's the conversation uh, you know, that, that some black people have. I've had that conversation. It's like nobody cares that our kids are being murdered and annihilated day after day by the police, by the system, by all of these things. Nobody cares because it's not their kids until it's in your backyard. But the reality is there's only one of us here. We are one. We are one. One people. Universe. There's a Native American quote that goes like this. Um, Man did not weave the web of life. He is merely a strand in it. Whatever he does to the web, he also does to himself. Right now, we're in an interesting position where we're destroying our planet. And also, through the work of the internet and beautiful souls like yourselves, putting it back together. And so this isn't an indictment on you or me or anybody else. This is a call to action. This is a reminder that if it's to be, it's up to me. If you really say you want change, then be it. Be it, be it, be it. See all the places in your life where you're manipulating, where you're being right, where you're turning a blind eye to stuff that no longer works for you. You wanna change the game? Do that. Blessings and blessings. I love each and every one of you. If this resonated in any way, tag somebody in it, um, share it. Please leave a comment, whatever's coming up for you. Just be respectful. I'm being respectful. Nobody's, I love everybody. Just be respectful and leave a comment. Peace.